today I'm going to show you how to humanize your AI chat GPT content so that you can rank with AI content as you can see right here and here this is another page I created this ranking I've tested over 200 chat GPT prompts and today I'm going to show you the best ones to humanize your content so that it ranks better and what you learn is how to make AI content more human because humanized content equals higher conversion rates equals more money for you you're going to save time because I'll show you easy ways to automate this I'll give you the SAPs promises strategies for free and on top of that, I'm going to give you my custom made AI SEO tools for free to humanize your content so that you make more money and save time. Let's get into it. If you don't know who I am, I'm Julian Goldie. I run the SEO boardroom, the SEO elite circle. I have a link building agency with over hundred clients, as you can see right here with lots of good case studies. So we're going to get this started with AI humanizer.ai, as you can see right here. And what you can do is paste in your content here and then check the output. Now I'm going to show you multiple ways. You don't have to use them all and you can just pick and choose whichever one is the best one for you today. I'm going to show you many, many different ways to humanize your content, but we will start with the AI humanizer, as you can see right here. So we're going to try it with a sample and you can see this is a piece of AI trash right here that nobody, let's be honest, would actually read right in the ever evolving realm of technology. It's fluffy. It's nasty. We don't like that. It's not 2022, mate. And so what we're going to do is we will click on the mode so we can choose between basic, standard and advanced right here. And then we can click on humanize. We'll see how that goes. It's rewriting the content. As you can see, that was pretty easy. And you can see that it has taken the AI trash and then created this right here. Now, if we read this content, it's definitely better. It's not 100% amazing, but it's better than this right here. I mean, for example, this uses the classic AI fluff words, which we'll come on to later. For example, ever evolving realm of technology. It's just the most generic thing in the world. So what we can do is take the output right here. We're going to start a new scan in originality AI just to detect what the original piece of content came out at. So we'll take that. We'll plug it into originality. We'll detect the AI and we'll hit scan. See what it comes out at. And you can see this comes out at an 83% chance likelihood that it's going to be AI content. Now, if we take this particular output, so this is the humanized content from the AI humanizer, we can plug that into originality and we'll scan it again and see what that comes out. At. Now it's up to you whether you care about AI detection or not, but what you can see is that the content does come out at 83% original. So it's a much easier way to make your content less detectable. Now, the thing that I would say, and I actually interviewed the CEO of Originality, you can check out the interview on my YouTube channel. But the thing that I would say here is that this is a percentage likelihood, right? So if you see, for example, like an old piece of content that's 25% AI, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's deemed as AI content. It means there's a 25% chance that the content itself is actually written by AI. So that was nice and easy. We generated in one click. It didn't cost us a penny. I think you can pay if you've got bigger pieces of content to humanize. But for 10,000 words, it's $9.99 per month. The only problem with this is that the content is not written that well in terms of making it interesting, right? So yes, it comes out at less detectable. Yes, it's humanized in terms of being less detectable from an AI detection score point of view. But is it actually going to convert? Is it going to generate money for you? So what you can actually do is take this piece of content right here. We'll plug it into ChatGPT, and then we can say, rewrite this content so that it's more, and we'll put more concise, emphatic, humorous, descriptive, persuasive, more informative, and more action oriented. And if we look at this piece of content now, it's a lot more interesting from the reader's perspective, right? So for example, if you look at this particular content right here, Yes, it's less AI detectable. Yes, it's humanized. But at the same time, it's not that interesting from a reader perspective. And obviously, if you're writing for SEO, you want to write for the algorithm so that it actually ranks. But at the same time, you want to rank for the reader so that it actually makes money and converts. Two different ways of writing. And so using this approach with a hybrid of the humanizer and then also add in a prompt where you say, make it more concise, emphatic, humorous, descriptive, persuasive, informative, action oriented, etc you get something that's a lot more interesting right here, even from the way that it's formatted. Now let's take this piece of content and see how it performs. So we've got the content right here. We're going to hit scan again and see where it comes out at. Now this content itself reads better. It's more interesting. It's more engaging. But as you can see right here, it comes out of 54% original and 46% AI. Now I would say 
in an interview that I did with Matt Diggity, we were talking about, okay, would you get penalized for AI detectable content? The thing is, if it's 50-50, 50% chance that it's AI, 50% chance that it's humanized, I don't think that you're ever going to get penalized by an algorithm because the odds of it being AI content are so close to penalizing human content, right? And so at that point, I think that's acceptable. Plus it reads better, which means it's going to convert better and people are going to engage with it longer. Now, what I also did is I got a list of AI fluff words from ChatGPT, as you can see right here. And we're going to go back to our piece of content. And this is another method that you can use on any piece of content. You can say, remove the AI fluff words from my content so that it's a bit more interesting. For example, like, dive is like your generic chat GPT piece of content. So we're going to say, remove the AI fluff words, see examples below from this content, plus use your own, and is not too bad. I wouldn't say, this, again, I wouldn't say any of these techniques are perfect, but you're getting something that feels a bit more humanized and feels like a human actually wrote it. So just to recap, we've already covered three, three different, three AI humanizing techniques. Number one, you can use this tool. Number two, you can use this prompt. Number three, you can use the AI fluff words prompt, like we've talked about. Another tool that we're going to test out is Humbot, right? So if we go to try a sample over here, we've got this generic piece of AI trash. We're going to click humanize and see what it comes out with. And what you can see right here is that it humanizes the content, kind of like humanizer AI, but it actually gives you the responses and the outputs based on all the other AI detection tools. So you can see, for example, GPT-0, Copy Leak, Zero GPT, Crossplag, Sapling, Writer, Content Excel, etc. It tells you how this content performed in these tools. So for example, if, it's, if it comes out a pretty much human written, it's a nice little smiley face right there. If it comes out 50% human written, it will come out with half a pie chart. And then if it's AI generated, it will come out with a red cross. And you can see right here that all of these are scoring with a smiley face. Again, the only thing I don't like about this is that the content itself is not great, but I've shown you how to improve that with the prompt that we talked about earlier. Quick little side note here as well. As you can see from the official Twitter account of Google Search Liaison right here, they've actually said that AI content created for search engine rankings however it's done is against this guidance but if you're creating content that's helpful and create for people no issues there so they don't publicly go against ai content and from what i've seen ai content is ranking better than ever now one thing that works really well as well as you can see right here is that you can just set up custom instructions inside chat gpt that actually create something that feels and reads a lot more human and is nicely formatted, right? So normally, for example, if I asked Claude to create an article about SEO, what you can see right here is that it's not very interesting. It's quite boring content. It just creates loads of walls of text. And if someone lands on that page, chances of them reading the whole thing, pretty low. Doesn't feel human at all, right? That could literally just be an AI overview from Google directly. Whereas if you go into ChatGPT and you have the custom instructions set up, so if you go to your profile over here, settings, personalization, custom instructions, and then you can see I've inserted some information about me right here. And then also, how would you like ChatGPT to respond? What you can see, so I've said split up the text. Why? So it's easier to read. Every sentence on a new line, why? So it's easier to read, right? And every single thing inside here is all about making sure that the content feels and reads a lot more human. Now, if you want access to those custom instructions, I'll give them to you at the end of the video. But this just works really nicely, as you can see right here. So if we compare the content with custom instructions on or using that, you can still use the custom instructions as a prompt. It's up to you. The content here, much more interesting. If you compare that to Claude, this is pretty trash. And the difference is night and day. Even the way that it reads in terms of creating something that hooks people in and makes them want to read is a lot better. Right? Why isn't my site ranking? Let's break it down. The other method that works really well, and I showed this in my video where I went from zero to 27,000 traffic on this particular video in 24 hours, is actually creating the content and recording it with Descript, generating that transcript because you're talking through the video. AI is going to transcribe your video into actual words, as you can see, for example, in this. And obviously, these are my own words, right? 
but it's edited with AI. So I can use it under Lord right here and we can actually scroll down to draft a blog post or draft a social post. And from there, create the content for our blog. Now, if we draft an actual blog post in the custom instructions right here, we can take the custom instructions that I mentioned earlier, plug them into Descript, paste them in like so, hit submit, and you can see that the content again is nicely split up and it's actually easier to read. So for example, the introduction is like, if you've ever wondered how to scale a link building agency or sort the best opportunities for SEO in 2024, this post is for you. That is better than ChatGPT going in this digital landscape and ever evolving realm, blah, 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 and then creating like, massive walls of text right the actual output is 10 times better and you can see it's actually formatted so for example this will be bolded because it's got the asterisks around it then it's going to have some bullet points etc but it's actually using your words and that humanization from the video you recorded and that way you get a video and a blog which means more traffic and more traffic diversification so that you're not at the mercy of potential updates now what i'm also going to do is I will take this particular prompt right here. We're gonna create a bot on po.com, which is completely free to do and use. I'm gonna call this AI humanizer bot. Then we're gonna take a free model like this one. We'll plug the prompt into ChatGPT as you can see right here. So this is the custom instructions that humanize our content. I've created a bot right here. And then you can plug content that you create through this humanizer bot to make it feel and read better. So we'll create the bot, as you can see right here. Then we can take this piece of content from before that doesn't feel or read like a human at all, plug it into Poe using the AI humanizer bot, which is completely free for you to use. And then it's written something that is a bit more user-friendly. Now you still want to format and edit that before posting. I've got a free SEO checklist inside my course if you want access to it, but using this, or just using the methods that we've talked about today, you've got seven different ways to humanize and make your content feel and look and read more like a human based on all the methods I've tested so far. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to this free SOP with all the methods and links that we've mentioned today, including my free tool, free prompts, the other free tools that I mentioned too, then I will put that into my free SEO course. Link is inside the comments and description. And if you go to the SEO quality control section, you'll also see another video and other tips on how to improve your content and humanize it based on what's working for me. So we'll call that Humanizer AI. It's inside the SEO quality control section of my free course, which comes with 68 other lessons on how to rank with AI SEO. So if I plug that into the free course right here, you can get access to the SAP. And as promised, I've shown you how to make AI content more human, how to get better conversion rates, how to save time, all my SAPs, prompts and strategies you can get for free. And I've given you my custom made AI tool for free to humanize your content. Now, if you want to get a free SEO strategy session on how to get more leads, traffic and sales and make more money of your website, we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 visitors per month and generate thousands of dollars in sales. If you want to get access to that, you get a one-to-one -one call where we'll personalize everything that I talk about on my YouTube channel to your website, give you a custom built game plan and answer any questions that you have one-to-one -one directly on the call. Appreciate you watching as always. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.